Hey folks, here is Rachana Ranadi here and I welcome you all to our Thursday live stream after a very long time. Um, maybe it's been more than 2-3 Thursdays uh, that we, were, I mean that I was not able to do a live stream. Uh, I think I had told this to everyone that I had gone to the United States of America. I was invited by Google for um, a very nice informative session. Uh, it was a closed meeting by by invite meeting only uh, by invite seminar only is what I can say. So I was there for almost twenty plus days. Uh, I was about to adjust my sleep schedule, and within that time, I started my onward journey towards Dubai. So at Dubai again, I shifted my time zone. In in US, by the way, I was in three time zones. So for the first time in my life, I came to know that uh, there is something known as MST, Mount M IST is the Indian Standard Time. We say Pacific Standard Time PST. Okay, MST, correct. You know what is MST? It's Mountain Standard Time. First time in my life I even heard about that. So I was in Mountain Standard Time as well for the first time in my life. Um, then I, I so yes, Naveen, uh, Nagesh, many many people are saying, uh, how was your US trip? It was good. Um, so it was fun. Uh, I came back, I had gone back to Dubai and, uh, in Dubai again, I had a great time. Uh, 1 billion summit was amazing. After that, I went to Abu Dhabi for a session and, uh, in Abu Dhabi, I was at, uh, I was invited by the CA Institute of Abu Dhabi, uh, to give a session to the CA members. So it was again fun. And tomorrow I'm again leaving to Oman. So I, I'm in Pune only for actually two days. Uh, I came day before yesterday at like 3 or 4 in the morning. Uh, yesterday and today I'm, I'm in Pune. Tomorrow again leaving for Oman. So I think uh, my surname should be changed from Rachana Phadke to Rachana Phadke. Uh, only Marathi people understood what is Rachana Phadke. But it's okay. Uh, by the way, in the meantime, I, uh, I had actually, when I had gone to the US, I had uh, an amazing opportunity to discuss with the product manager of Google and on YouTube. Uh, they were asking about uh, certain features that we as creators would want to know. Uh, we, we, we as creators, we would want to have it on our live stream. And in that, I had told that uh, we, don't, we don't have polls on live stream. We would love if we have polls on our live stream. I don't know since what date have these been live. But today, at least the moment I logged into the live stream, I saw that OMG, polls have been uh, have been added on the live stream menu. Can you see the result of the poll that I just posted some time ago? I just posted that. Did you all miss Thursday live streams? And I can see how much how many people have voted yes, how many people have voted no. They could cut local news and no But uh, can you see how many how much is the voting and oh yes you can see it amazing 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 so this is i think a very cool uh, feature that they have gotten for the live stream i just love it polls live stream madhe ahet sin stone age vivek manje thik hai pan kiti kiti atishay yukti karayche ki nahi i don't remember seeing it in in the live stream i mean there are many youtube creators who who might have used certain uh, software, traditional software through which you can do this, but uh, directly, so it's it's on the plus button, and that that's where we can do the poll. So happy with this new feature. Well, with that, I think uh, without wasting time, now let me just end this poll. I just love this feature. Uh, should we do should we do more polls uh, about all these things? Oh wow, it, it is now showing a summary. Did you miss the Thursday live streams? Yes, is 84%. Kutskat Loka, no, is 15%. Uh, right. So we, uh, whenever I discuss concepts, I I think I should do this poll just to get an idea about, yeah, where maybe, uh, I don't know if I can get a separate uh, op option other than yes, no, I could ask certain question and get answers from you all. So I think this is going to be fun. Uh, chalo. So with that, without wasting time, let us, start discussion of our Thursday live stream and I'm just going to quickly start in dot trading view on my website 
uh, on on my screen sorry so that i can share my thought process about nifty right so just give me one minute all right and nifty 15 decks okay <coughs> So opening up all right so today we are going to discuss first of all about uh, technical analysis of nifty uh, we are going to understand i'm sure everyone has read the title of the stream very carefully what do what could be possible could we see nifty at 19000 yes or no is what the entire discussion is right so anyways oh my god a lot of drawings um, let me remove some drawings that I don't feel are necessary for today's live stream. Sometimes we just keep on doing certain theories, certain analysis. All right. Okay. Chalo. Achha, this one was essential. This one was important, by the way. Okay. So what is this? Let's let's start with the very first one. See, this was the all-time high that we had seen. In, I mean, before we broke, before we recently broke the all-time high. So with, what was this high? This high was of 18,602, right? This high was broken. When was this broken? This was broken on 29th of November, okay? It broke this. It went up. I'm just zooming this in. Broke, went up. It's again coming down here. And it has again closed above this level. So who can tell me what is this called as? So this was a resistance. It broke the resistance. It went up. And so this is a difficult terminology that we use for that. Anyone who would want to tell me in the comment section quickly, uh, who what is this sort of thing called as? Right now we can see that Nifty is coming back to the line that we drew right now. Very good. Sarvanam is saying retracement or Tushar is saying it's a retest. Sudhakar is saying bounce, retest, retracement. Fantastic. Fantastic. Okay. 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 So typically what we call this as it's, it is called as, okay. Resi Rike says the resistance acting as support. Vijay has given, uh, Vijay has given a little bit more precise answer. It is a breakout and retest and once there is a breakout and retest what is the next step theoretically okay pullback also okay I, I need an answer from everyone when i say there is a breakout there is a retest then what can happen theoretically from there there is again a word for that breakout retest and hello fada fad is my chat slow Support, no. Bounce, correct. Correct, absolutely. So there, there is a terminology when we say there's a breakout, there is a retest and there's a bounce, correct? Oh, I've already talked about this so many times in my technical analysis course. Uh, I, I, Whatever I remember in my technical analysis course, I've almost taken a one hour session only on what, what could be the different examples of breakout, retracement or uh, retest and bounce. So, again, just in case if you have not seen my technical analysis course after a long time, shout out to Pooja. Zagi Ahiska. Zopi Geli Ashiltar Zagi Ho. And put the link of technical analysis course in the chat. Kya baat hai? Yes, that's, that's the link for technical analysis course. Just in case if you have not yet watched the technical analysis course, you will learn a lot in that course. So, definitely you can think about investing in knowledge right Chalo. so i hope the first one is very clear right let's go on to the second one when we talk about pivot points correct everyone knows uh, pivot points uh, is just an indicator that we can set up from here correct now what we can do is here you can see pivot is at what 18500 and something okay pivot is at 18500 something this is where we are very close to so Nifty is at 18,609, right? So 100 points down from here is like easily possible, right? Uh, but it can see a good support at 18,500 level as per pivots, okay? 
but then just in case if this is broken we should know because you know what is the biggest fear right now biggest fear is that or a market is at an all time high if it starts correcting then till what it will go down i'm repeating very important point the biggest fear that everyone has is that if markets are at an all time high right now almost at an all time high right now and if they start to crack down till what can they crack down correct so this is first support i can see is at 18500 second support that i can see is at 18206 okay and even if i were to do a trend from here still it more or less collides with 18206 so i think 18200 is going to act as a solid support here uh, i don't see nifty easily going below that right chalo if i want to quickly check out what is uh, any other scenario so let us understand about the super trend again i have discussed about this in absolute detail in our technical analysis course trend is also very much positive trend turned positive somewhere around october and since october end as per the super trend we are in a positive trend for a long long time right also let us understand about uh, one important point that if i were to talk about moving averages so let me just quickly put up moving averages go for two times and uh, let's see how the moving averages are for a scenario 50 days see 50 is a short term average right so are we so this is the 9 days one wait let me just change this to a 200 days average because this is comparatively a long term average and i always take long term that's my style okay as a red one now if you see here currently let me just close super trend if you see 50 day moving average is above the 200 days moving average that itself is a sign of strength and current nifty level is way above not only the 50 day moving average mark it's also way above the 200 days moving average mark right so i hope with all these things chalo but something something on the negative side let's see uh what about moving average convergence divergence so if you see here just going to blow it up on a full screen you can see that just recently there is a bearish crossover but if you see very recently again around 18 november there was a bearish crossover within next 3 4 days it again turned as a bullish crossover again a bearish crossover i think this this is more or less like it's it may go in a little bit of strengthening mode okay how about rsi now if you see here rsi is i mean it went up almost till what 74 came down till 59.96 and a small retracement is what we can see here of rsi so still rsi is showing a lot of strength so let me quickly revise things for you okay what are the quick points for you all moving average shows strength yes 50 day moving average 200 days moving average our prices well above that we are definitely in a a much much better scenario number 2 what about rsi rsi is also showing strength number 3 we said that yes if i'm talking about super trend we are into a positive trend <coughs> if i were to talk about pivots of course there is a resistance at 19000 no it's a, it's a no brainer right there is there is going to be some sort of resistance at 19000 big question at when we are closer to all time highs is that if it falls down till what can it fall down possibility number 1 is at 18500 and possibility number 2 18206 that is the second level till which it can go down right now if i were to also quickly analyze the option chain so i'm for axe going to go on to the nsc option chain so that you also understand how the overall uh, nifty how nifty is overall play stat i'm going to go to the 15th december expiry date here you can see that at 18600 is a big fight between the bulls and bears you can see here oh, 122000 open interest 122000 open interest change in oi is 96000 okay even if you see in the put side it's 113000 open interest and change in oi is 84910 right so i think there is there is a big fight at 18600 now please understand the moment market starts going above 18700 all these people are going to be trapped 122000 contracts open they are going to be trapped and then a short covering will start which can take the markets higher if that be so 
then we can expect some sharp move at least of 200 points possible okay but on the flip side if 18500 support is broken as i told you as per technical analysis also 18500 is a mentally mental support also as per the pivot level also it's a support if that is broken all these 18 uh, 1 lakh 13000 contracts are trapped so then they might also start uh, doing a covering of of their puts so uh, so we, it can be an unwinding right so if that be so then it may take the markets a little bit lower but lower till what do we already know about it answer is obviously yes so i think that uh, this is a, a simple summary of whatever i wanted to tell you is there a possibility that nifty may go to 19000 why not but i don't believe that it will just directly go you go to uh, you know uh, back to back to 19000 i don't think that will happen but uh, definitely there's a great chance that uh, even if it goes down somewhere around 18500 it can take a support there is a possibility that it bounces back from there right chalo so with that uh, let us move on to certain other important aspects about our economy and if i were to talk about the economy let me again share my screen my brother is asking are you doing live stream right now Harshad, yes, I am doing a live stream right now. If you are watching, hi. Okay, so uh, let us quickly go to the economy-related parameters. So again, I am going to share my screen. Um, share my screen. Okay. Um, right. So let's understand the key key factors. Yesterday only, India in India there was a repo rate hike and our RBI, Reserve Bank of India, has increased the repo rate by 35 basis points. Now, how much has the repo rate gone to from 5.9 percent to 6.25 percent? That is the rate at which our repo rate stands at right now. Now, everyone knows this. Why does RBI increase repo rate? The logic is very simple. If we are, if we want to control inflation, we have to increase our repo rate. That's one of the tools to control inflation. Now, question was that was there really any need to again increase the repo rate answer is yes definitely if you know that india's band of inflation is 4% plus or minus 2% right so if i were to take plus 2% india's band or the upper side for inflation target is 6% and if you see here from jan 2022 till october 2022 we are continuously above our target i mean upper target of inflation that is the highest that we want right india doesn't want to go beyond 6% from inflations and you can see jan 2022 it it's first time it went with, uh, above that at 6.01 the peak was at 7.79 we have definitely cooled down from there but still we are unable to go below 6% right so that was one of the reasons why our uh, repo rate has been increased plus again understand if big economies in the world like like usa if they are increasing their rates we have no choice but to increase it because if we don't do that then again it leads to rupee weakening okay so we have to adjust accordingly and that's what we saw right now that we are currently from 5.9% repo rate to 6.25% needless to say now all our audiences are smart they understand the impact of that and everyone knows that now our loans are going to be a shade more costlier right all right with this that's what i wanted to tell you that interest rates beat home loans personal loans any other types of loans definitely your outflow is going to increase right now one very important point that i would want to tell you from the monetary policy committee statement i want everyone to pay attention this is a very important statement right the statement was that recently the rural demand is recovering with urban demand remaining buoyant okay if you have been watching my thursday live streams regularly i i did talk about a scenario that yes our um, uh, the monetary policy com committee statements which were issued in the past few months last almost 3 4 months they were like okay urban demand is increasing but rural demand is still kind of dampened so rural demand was not picking up that was the statement that we saw in the last 3 4 uh, uh, monetary policy committee statements but this is the first time that i see they are mentioning that rural demand is recovering and is that a very positive sign 
obviously as yes, the story that we are talking about india tier 2 demand tier 3 demand i think this is where we can see that yes there's a big hope that yes the rural demand is also recovering right one more important point that we saw from mpc monetary policy committee statement was that pmi what is pmi that is the overall index which talks about uh, how much is the overall production or the manufacturing production manufacturing index it it tracks again in detail i have discussed about be it pmi be it inflation uh, and so many other important parameters we that we need to understand to understand the economics and the impact on the stock market i've covered that separately in our course on economics for stock market puja thoda kalna sasel mala kay manaycha ahe so puja you can paste the link for the economics for stock market course where everyone those who want to learn about all these con concepts pmi and all that and where i have also discussed about how to fetch that data right everything you will be able to understand moving ahead about inflation we we did discuss about that yes it is above whatever we had targeted but hopefully that will come down in the coming few months one point that is not so satisfactory is that expected gdp growth rate for financial year 2023 now has been revised from 7% to 6.8% okay so gdp growth rate target lowered but what is mentioned in the mpc statement even after this revision in our growth projections india will still remain amongst the fastest growing major economies yay okay so that is the statement well before i move on to few one or two important news about stocks just wanted to check if there is any quick doubt about whatever i discussed in economics for stock market any any doubt or have you understood all the parameters that were discussed in in this economy angle related to stock market the whole the whole summary for this was that about the mpc statement wherein yes inflation is still above the target and that is the reason why we are revising rates because we are revising rates loans are going to be higher they are going to be a little bit costlier but ultimately our government has said that even though all of this is happening we feel that things might come under control as far as the growth rate is concerned they are saying that okay rural demand is picking up and examples of rural demand ramchandran nair is saying are examples of rural demand is let us say if if i'm talking about cars as a theme how much cars are being demanded from urban cities and from tier 2 tier 3 cities if i'm talking about fmcg products how much is being demanded from urban cities from tier 2 to tier 3 cities right so this is nothing nothing but increasing rural demand so it could be for various commodities one more question is uh, this news may already be factored in right ideally yes sharma these these news ideally will be factored in crr increasing amit asks crr increasing will be positive for banks right uh, crr and slr if they are increased they are never good for banks and again amit i have discussed about crr i have discussed about slr in uh, our economics for stock market course what are they how do they impact the market whenever they are increased it's they are not good for the bank simple reason their liquidity is crunched they'll be able to give out lesser loans and that is the reason why their top line bottom line both can get impacted no that was the wrong question is what amit said okay okay amit swatas vichar hai jane swatas wrong question mana but theek hai chalte chalte aap lad se um i think i think all questions oh okay amit say sorry i mean increasing only repo rate would be positive for banks increasing only repo rate will be positive for banks not i, I agreed i mean uh, if you ask about uh, loans so agreed that the profitability because of increase in loan rates that is going to be high but on the flip side the loan disbursements may take a hit whatever loans were already disbursed on that now they are going to collect higher interest so that is going to be positive for the bank agreed but what about fresh advances fresh advances may be slowed down because of higher interest rates i hope you understand the point amit right what's your view on psu banks and psu stocks they are giving massive run up i want you to do a separate video on psu stocks by this run up okay okay vijay i'll do that sure amit says but economy is recovering and 
with infra and with infra plans anyways amit i think i answered your question right it's it's good but simultaneously it might slow down a little bit advances growth right chalo with that quick uh, updates about few important uh, well known stocks the very first one being larsen and tubro lnt back then order uh, almost in the range of 2500 crores to 5000 crores again uh, that's a positive sign for the company stock price went up by almost 4% in last two days very 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 important point is about the brent crude price brent crude price has corrected by more than 20% and it has now gone down to 77 dollar per barrel that's going to be a big 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 uh, positive for us those who have seen our video about crude oil they will understand that if crude oil goes down why is it going to be very good for our economy and not only at the economy level there are going to be certain category of stocks something like asian paints something like mrf so basically any paint stocks any tire stocks they are going to be very much uh, impacted in a positive way if crude prices go down now what is the connection in for paint stocks uh, for paint companies and for tire companies one of the key raw materials is crude oil and if crude oil prices drop it's going to be a positive sign for these set of companies right so again i've discussed this in absolute detail in my crude oil video puja please paste the link of the crude oil video in the chat section again there's news about vodafone india limited as well government is saying that okay we are open to the idea of the survival and revival package uh, they are converting their part of their dues into equity, equity but that's just a news any final discussion or a final decision is yet to come and one last uh, stock in news is bajaj consumer limited they are going to meet tomorrow to consider a proposal for buyback as per filing done with nsc chalo so what all did we cover we covered number 1 about technical analysis number 2 we discussed about option chain number 3 we discussed about macro economic factors and their impact on the stock market number 4 we discussed about stocks and news so four inputs from my side and the fifth input has to come from your side and what is that the fifth input that always has to be asked for and aru Arula Nathan has guessed it. Sharman has also guessed it. Everyone is like, yes, likes, 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 likes. Fantastic. क्या बात है क्या बात है. Everyone, smash the like button. Eighteen hundred forty-two viewers and five hundred and sixty-eight likes. क्या बात है. As usual, that's that's the standard of our channel, right? Twenty-five percent पर मंजे उपकार के लिए सरख होता कभी कभी. <laughs> okay uh I, yes yes still people are going like likes 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 in not in the comment section in the you have to smash the like button okay so um tell you all hit the like button let me just quickly see if there are any specific super chats with which i would want to start and then i would go ahead and answer general questions as well uh warm welcome to the new members who have joined in aman vishwesh any other member who has joined in today Let me see Aman Vishwesh. Other than that, Vijay, no Vijay is there already. Only two. No Sudhakar, Akanksha, Sachin, Thugs of BGMI, Bar, uh, Vinod, and 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 some. Okay, a, a warm welcome to all these new members on our channel, right? Chalo, so let's quickly go on and check out few super chats. very first one is by caster uh, hi is it a good time to accumulate more on polyflex now caster it means that you have not watched my video in detail in the polyflex video i have already discussed three levels in which i am going to buy okay so see the video carefully in that i have given all levels very clearly no need to even ask okay next one is by again caster hi rachna ji may we know what platform do you use for cryptos and for us stocks many many thanks okay for us stocks i use ind money and uh, i have done few videos about ind money on our channel as well and for cryptos i have again i mean if if you are asking this question it means that you have not been following our channel of late 
I have I have made a lot of videos recently. I had I had talked about some concept through which you can do an SIP in cryptos as well, and the name of the platform is CSK, not Chennai Super Kings. It is Coin Switch Kuber, right? Uh, so that's that's the platform that I use uh, for cryptos as well as US stocks. But everyone knows my concept about cryptos. Do I invest? Yes. How much? Party fund. Nothing more than a party fund. I've been discussing this, this since day one of whatever I talked about cryptos. So, yeah, that's my stand on cryptos, right? Hitesh says, uh, hi, ma'am, is it the right time to average Arthi Industries and Jubilant Foodworks? Uh, let me quickly pull up the chart of Arthi Industries. Arthi Industries. The others, those who have not yet sent a super chat, please don't send a super chat. It's almost 10 5. Okay, so I would not want to take this for a long, long, long time to tomorrow. I have to leave, leave for Oman. Uh, I think just okay, wait. Um, MACD shows a positive crossover, RSI is beaten down. Uh, pivot level is broken for Arthi Industries. I don't think this is the right time for Arthi Industries, so would want to wait. Jubilant Foodworks is like a disaster right now. I don't, I don't know what's wrong with this stock. The results are not that bad, but the price is not just performing at all. Uh, it is definitely a disappointment. No doubts about that. And this stock is there in my portfolio. I've talked about this stock for so many number of times, but right now it's not performing. Uh, if I were to quickly check the Bollinger Band, it's at the lower end of the Bollinger Band. Um, I would want to see some sort of retracement before I would want to enter Jubilant Foodworks again. Not going to do that right now. Bilraj, thank you for the super chat. No questions asked. Alkyl, Amine, Clean, and Devyani. Should I sell? Uh, Alkyl, Amine, if you have seen my video just, uh, of, of the member special fundamental analysis, I said this is like a long-term stock. It's like a theme that... Uh, is, is going to be ideally played out in Alkyla Mine. The CapEx theme, the China plus one theme that is going to be played out in the specialty chemical sector. So if you are not patient enough uh, and if you feel that, no, I need the money right away, uh, then maybe you would want to you know sell off your holdings and uh, maybe you would want to quit. Current price about, of Alkyla Mines is 2782 and your buying, buying price is at loss, you, would you want to sell? I mean, that's that's totally your call. It's totally your conviction. It's there in my portfolio. I'm not selling. Uh, I, I'm playing on this stock for a long-term story for uh, the CapEx cycle to play out. And that's that's the reason why I would want to hold on to the stock. Uh, clean, not tracking a lot, so won't comment on that. Devyani, again, has been one of my favorites. So, again, holding on to that as well. I think it's around 190, right? Uh, let me just check quickly, Devyani. The national is around 189, okay, 189, 190. Uh, but I, I am holding it. I feel that in the middle to long term, it can give decent enough returns. So finally, it's your call, right? Would like to know your view about PCR, put call ratio. Um, see, PCR is one of the ways through which you can understand the option chain, okay? So if I were to just quickly check the put call ratio for the December ended option chain, right now it is, let me just quickly, just based on this, I'm just doing a fast rough calculation, 798 by 623, sorry, 623. PCR is right now almost 1.1 plus 1.2 chaos pass. Uh, kind of on a higher side uh, would want it to be on a comparatively lower side so that we can expect some more fast and furious rally. Right now, it's shade on the upper side. But I believe that PCR is not the only thing that I would want to check. There are many other parameters. And based on that, I would want to take a decision. Just in case if you don't know what is a PCR, others, those who are watching the stream and they don't know what is PCR, again, I've discussed this in detail in my Futures and Options course. Pooja, please paste the link of Futures and Options course in the live stream as well. Views on KC International and RPSG Ventures. Ha, kutla stock. I have never heard about RPSG Ventures. Uh, just quickly, uh, 
going ahead with screener and logging in. Okay, the first one is KEC International. I think it's a small cap stock, KEC International. Market cap, 12,000. Yes, it's it's a small cap and 10% uh, up. What? Is there any news? I, I have not tracked this stock. Okay, I need to share my screen. I'm getting a FOMO. One minute. There you go. Spider webs are a shade cleaner than this. So let me just hide a lot of indicators right here. Oh, there seems to be some news in this. Otherwise, such huge jumps. One, two, almost like a 12% upside in no time. But right now, if I were to just do a small zoom out for this. One, two. Stock can face the resistance here. I'll show you some touch points for this. Here, if you see the stock touched till here, it came down. Again, went up, but was not able to sustain above that. Came down again. Went above this for some time. It did. Again, broke back. Again, same here. And right now, again, it's at this point. So it'll be interesting to watch if it is able to uh, crack this as well and stay above it. Uh, how about the RSI level? RSI is at 59. No. RSI is at 76 almost. I mean, if someone was lucky to get in this stock yesterday, lucky. But otherwise, uh, very, very risky to enter this stock at this point in time. Okay, So that's that's a detail for Case International, RPSG, not tracked a lot. All right, any other quick super chats, which I would want to answer first and then go to other questions. Um, Okay, see, done. I think I'm done with the super chats. Kya baat hai? Very nice, very nice. Okay, now going ahead with a few questions, random questions. Uh, okay, let me just confirm this one more time. All right. Narendra Singh Rawat is asking rate hike impact on NBFCs like Bajaj Finance. Actually, Bajaj Finance, beat Bajaj Finance, beat Bajaj Finserv. Uh, I feel that these stocks again are have not yet performed the way they should have. If they start going up, it's, it's they, they can again help the overall sentiment go way too higher. Let's see how they how they act how they uh, you know uh, play in the coming few days. Uh, going back to the rate hike impact, it's it's not going to be so again same thing for uh, new disbursements. That's going to be a kind of a hindrance, but existing disbursements which have already been done uh, for them that's going to be a positive point right otherwise says rachana what is the plan on 31st december we'll love to have year end live with stock of the month performance tracking oh ho that's a very good uh, suggestion, Advait. Stock of the month, performance tracking. But I don't think 31st December is the right day to do that. Correct. Uh, suggestions for new year, resolutions for new joinees. Okay, that is okay. Suggestions for new joinees is also good. Okay. Um, please, okay, let's let's move on to the... But uh, yes, Advait, I will talk about uh, how, how our stocks... That I feel that uh, fundamentally strong stocks, how have they performed? Um, uh, have, have, how have they performed in the last two years? We would want to have a track of that. Definitely, that's a very good suggestion. I will try and incorporate that. Right. Next, okay, one more super chat has been asked. In the meantime, are your views on Delta Crop, Delta Corp, and Panama Petro for three months? Anikit, I'm today only. I recorded a video on one of these two stocks the Fodnar name I'm not going to tell you which out of these two stocks for that you will have to uh, 
keep on watching the channel and this video that i shot today is is set for release on wednesday coming wednesday that is on the 14th so stay tuned okay about panama petro if see i mean this is just a quick thought process if crude oil prices are down ideally it's going to be good for the stock right rpsg owns two yum chips adding one more product oh okay thank you for that all right just one or two quick questions after which we can stop for the day uh Praveen asks, ma'am, what are the options to invest in index funds? Oh, you can you can go ahead with uh, a normal SIP uh, in index funds, possibility number one. So I'm sure you have heard about Nifty Bs, you, uh, wherein it's like an ETF, okay? Uh, Pooja, again, if you can just try and search this video, I don't remember the exact title, but you can search for BEES, uh, Bs, Nifty Bs, or index ETF, just try and search for that. Uh, you should find a similar <coughs> title video and please paste the link of that in the chat section. Okay. Please tell views about IRCTC and NMDC is what Akhanda Pratap Singh asks. Okay. Uh, IRCTC again, not performing as per my expectations. I mean, I, I, I felt that the stock should recover very quickly but still it has not yet shown a lot of strength so still not happy with the price performance of irctc as far as nmdc is concerned again it's it's a commodity stock right uh if you have to understand a lot of parameters uh, right now though it is today only it is 3.67 percent up and uh, right now it's at a very crucial level i think the 123 124 level is very crucial i would want to share my screen for that why am i saying this uh Let me just present my screen. All right. If you see here, okay, let me just zoom this up. It had broken this, it consolidated here for a long time, finally broke down, went down, took a resistance here, again went down, and it's again at this level. If it's about again, if it's able to sustain above this, then we can we can see some. Nice movement in the stock, but waiting for what happens next. Okay. Mm -hmm -hmm. One last question. What could that be? 2023 ke liye kuch acha book. Same like 2022 ka power bank book. Oh, that's also a nice suggestion. Let me see what I can do. Uh, some good book that uh, you all can get some knowledge from. Take it. Would you just write this down about some book? Uh, like or a diary okay we'll discuss that uh, all right almost done small gift for me and Meg I hope you both will like it better way to advise uh, technical analysis TTK prestige this is going to be the last question technical analysis for TTK prestige is it forming a cup and handle pattern okay I will discuss about this, uh, whether it's forming a cup, cup and handle pattern or not. But before I discuss about this, I'm sure everyone is seeing our website, rachanaranade.com. Here we have a blog section. And in the blog section, we, we talk about weekly review of a blog uh, that happens on Thursday. LTTS, uh, someone had asked question about LTTS right now as well. Uh, when we, had, we have, we discuss something like this. Okay, so LTTS, this seems to be, uh, ideally, it was a support, but then it broke down, and right now it has it, it is just lingering around that same level of four two one eight. But again, it has just recently broken that. Now it will be interesting to see what happens. Does it re resume its upward journey from there or what? So it's going to be an interesting one. Okay, so we keep on posting uh, this uh, these blogs, and uh, here we also talk about one or two news about some stocks. And very important, these are barely three minutes reads. Uh, so, like for example, today's weekly review of the blog. Check our blog section, blah, 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 the 23rd. We shared the technical analysis of R RCF and had put forward the analysis that will show the bullishness if it sustains above 110. The stock was trading at 116 at that time. 
recently it made a high of 140 which is like 20 percent above kya baat hai so if you are not following these blogs which are focused absolutely free of cost you are missing out on something so without fail definitely check out our blogs it will help you to refresh your knowledge about technical analysis right um one final question was about the cup and handle pattern right and cup and handle for ttk yes that's going to be the last question i'm just going to quickly pull up ttk prestige uh uh, uh no it's not a cup and handle at least on the daily time frame i can't see that uh it is forming a cup and handle pattern okay all right i hope you enjoyed this live stream after a long 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 time uh, jinit says super fan of your blog kya baat hai thanks a lot jinit uh, means a lot hari says how was your trip to nas academy in dubai i missed the opportunity that's okay next time maybe but it was fun dubai uh, i mean i announced that i am in dubai and i'll be doing uh, a small uh, meet up kind of a thing and so happy to share this with you that uh, it was the last minute thing that i had declared i had not even given any contact number i just told that hey i'm going to come at nasa academy this is date i didn't do even i didn't do a video on that on youtube at still almost 42 people had uh, turned up for uh, the meet up i will definitely share the vlog on our channel as well uh, felt amazing uh, so always feels good to connect with uh, our subscribers not only from india but even outside india and meanwhile i see this i made some profit from pnb after seeing your blog kya baat hai so happy uh, it's it's just that me and my team we just try to uh, give highest possible value addition always say that uh, it's it will never happen that 100% of our analysis is going to go correct <coughs> we always talk about a risk risk to reward ratio of 2 is to 1 uh, i mean one risk two reward so one is to two so even if with that even if you have like a 40 percent accuracy understand this if i'm saying reward two and risk one if if you trade with such a thing even if you have only 40 percent accuracy 42 are you are going to get 80 and you might lose only 40 in one even if that's the risk so still you will be in profit correct so uh that's what we always strive to do and uh that's that is the way me and my team have been doing all these blogs on technical analysis so without fail keep on checking out the blogs it will definitely add up to your knowledge uh jinit says applying for intermediate courses some discount yes why not we have discount on our courses as well and i i always share this coupon code with you all during our first day live streams the coupon code is c a r r y t you can use this course and you can use this code and get some additional discount okay ha ah, felt good uh, i'm I'm here in Pune only for two days, but I felt that I should be doing a Thursday live stream. It's been almost more than two to three weeks that we all connected and felt good. So I'll see you all on the next Thursday. Till then, take care. Jai Hind and bye-bye.